Okay, so for this part of the question then, we're asked to solve this equation for x between the values minus pi upon 2 to pi upon 2. Remember, x is measured in radians. And we were given this identity in the previous part of the question. And it said hence, so we're expected to use it. It should help us. So I can see straight away that in this equation here, 1 minus cosine 2x, if we replace the theta with the x, it's going to be the same as tan x sine 2x. So that must be where they want us to pick that identity up. So if you were to substitute that in, there it is there, tan x sine 2x in place of 1 minus cos 2x. Now what I can do next is take 3 tan squared x sine 2x from both sides and factorize. I'll show you. What we get is if we take the tan x sine 2x outside this bracket, then we've got it multiplied with the sec squared x minus 5. OK, that gives us that term there. And then if I've subtracted this term from both sides, you can see that tan x sine 2x times the minus 3 tan x would give me negative 3 tan squared x sine 2x. All right. Now I can see that sec squared x, I can pick this up as 1 plus tan squared x, the basic identity you should be familiar with. And this would allow this bracket here to form a quadratic in tan x. So I've made that substitution there. And what I'm going to do now is just tidy this bracket up. So if we tidy that up, we're going to end up with that quadratic in tan x here. So I've got three factors, tan x, sine 2x, and this bracket that would equal 0. So that leads me to that result. And I can solve each of these three equations now. Starting with this first one, tan x equals 0, that's easy because x will equal the inverse tan of 0. And the inverse tan of 0 is simply 0. OK, nice easy answer there. And when it comes on to sine 2x equaling 0, all I need to do is say that 2x equals the inverse sine of 0. Should know the inverse sine of 0. It is 0. So we get 2x equals 0. And if I divide both sides by 2, x will equal 0. Now, for the quadratic in tan x, I need to factorize this. And it factorizes very easily to tan x plus 1 times tan x minus 4 equals 0. And that would mean that each of these factors would equal 0, leading to tan x equals negative 1 and tan x equals 4. So solving for tan x equals negative 1, x would equal the inverse tan of negative 1. And should be familiar with that one. That's a very standard result. It's in degrees. It would be minus 45 degrees. The equivalent in radians is minus pi upon 4. OK. Now, when it comes to tan x equals 4, that's not so obvious. You're going to need to use your calculator there. Make sure you're in radians mode. Take the inverse tan of 4 and you get x equaling 1.3258 and so on. So now I've got all my results that are in this range. So just to summarize then, x equals minus pi upon 4, naught, and 1.326 radians to three decimal places. You could put a little c here if you wished to indicate that those were angles in radians. But it's understood that x would be in radians from here, so it doesn't really matter if you did leave it off. Okay?